design object in this video we'll discuss about design object so in this video we will discuss about general principle which are used to design the jig then steps for design of the jig and we'll discuss one problem and that's it so one by one we'll see that so consideration in the design of drill jig generally jig is designed for drill or for the rimming operation or for the counter boring for counter sinking or for the tapping operation for that your jig should be rigid it should withstand the forces applied on it it should be strong enough that is that it means it must resist the deflection deflection that may result because of clamping force excessive clamping force it should not bend under the drilling pressure it should absorb the shock and compressive force so that's why cast iron mostly used as a jig body so bushes are used to guide the tool as you know that jig not only guide the tool but also support and locate the workpiece so for guiding the tool we need the bushes and for easy removal of the chip we need to have the space between the bottom of drill bushing and the work it should be approximately 1 to 1.5 da times the diameter of the drill so we can remove the chips by using coolant or by manually with the help of fork or brush or compress air now we will see the steps to design the jig this is very important slide first we need to positioning and orientation of the workpiece or the blank or the part into the jig how you are going to positioning uh, and orienting the workpiece with respect to jig which is very important this is the first place first point you can see or the first step positioning and orientation of the job with respect to jig or how you are going to place the job inside the jig that is its axis whether it is your your uh, part is horizontal you are going to place it in horizontal axis or in vertical or at an incline axis then second step is that locating the blank or part or the job in the jig how you are going to locate that part in the blank generally for the location you know that uh, each job in a space have the 12 degrees of freedom so uh, 12 degrees of freedom is i let you know how that it is if consider x y z axis along now we will talk about x axis if your job is moved along positive x axis that is towards right that is called as 1 degree of freedom then if your job is moving towards negative negative of x axis that is towards left that is second degree of freedom and if your job is rotating around the x axis that is clockwise it has another 1 degree and it is anti clockwise another 1 degree of freedom so how many degrees of freedom in translation or in you can say translation there are 2 degrees of freedom and in rotation there are 2 degrees of freedom so there are 4 degrees of freedom in one axis so there are three axes so there are 12 degrees of freedom one need to restrict this 12 degrees of freedom so that the job can be properly place and there should not be any defect while producing the hole or while you are machining the job so for that location locating location plays an important role supporting the blank again supporting is very important sometimes uh, supporting uh, guide guide uh, blocks are used for support the jigs then clamping the clamping of course see 3 to 1 principle restrict the 9 degrees of freedom all degrees of freedom you cannot restrict there are 12 degrees of freedom so it is 
it can be restricted by the clamping so clamping is important which will hold the workpiece inside the jig so that your workpiece cannot be moved and as well as your clamping should be quick so that for loading and unloading purpose and it should be strong and rigid then important point is that guiding of the tool the bushes are used for the guiding of the tool then consistency of locating by using pusher and ejection so now we will see the problem then you will understand this last two what I mean to say so we will take an example that we have the cylindrical bar in that cylindrical bar cylindrical bar we need to hold, drill a hole at a perpendicular axis at a perpendicular to its axis of the cylindrical cylinder so this is the problem this is cylindrical bar I need a drill hole I need to hold a drill at an axis perpendicular to the cylinder so what you are going to do first whether in this problem they have asked a fixture or jig has to be designed and build uh, for a drilling a through hole in a pre-machine mild steel pins at a given distance from one side one end face as indicated in figure now uh, I want to this is a uh, the job is in horizontal axis and hole is in vertical uh, vertical that is uh, you can say that it is perpendicular to the ax cylindrical axis so what you are going to use I need the first of all first step now discuss about we'll start the solving the problem first step is that positioning and orientation now the job is cylindrical and we need to place that job in horizontal axis on the V block okay so positioning and orientation since uh, your our uh, hole is perpendicular to the axis of the cylindrical and our drill axis is perpendicular so we are going to place our job horizontally so positioning now we have done the positioning and orientation of job in the jig so what I am going to use here I am going to use a V block for the holding the cylindrical I will locate my uh, circular job on V block okay now this is the V block you can see the extreme um, right hand figure uh, V block is there and if you see the extreme left hand figure there is a locating pin adjustable locating pin is there but just you one can adjust if the length of uh, job it change you can adjust that this is of course for the uh, another job you can adjust the uh, without changing that fixture you can adjust uh, the length or axis to be drill okay so design of jig have you understood this now what we have uh, learned first step we have done the positioning and positioning which is very important and second step locating the blank in the jig with respect to drill axis okay locating we have used the v block and one adjustable pin first we did positioning and orientation of the part in the jig second we have done locate locating the blank or workpiece or the job in the jig with respect to drill so for that we have used v block and adjustable pin now supporting the blank against the force for that no doubt we are using the v block but the v block should be used with a proper relief provided with a proper relief why because as the length is more as compared to the diameter so there should be proper relief and your job should be properly placed and it should be properly it should be in contact with the v block so it should be recess 
need to be enough strong and rigid and it should be relief so for that we use the rest rest type or relief type v block for that so supporting the blank we have uh, i think we have covered almost three principles of jig i hope that you have understood first was positioning and orientation of the block uh, of the job in the uh, in the jig second was the second you know uh, locating the blank with the help of fee block and locating blink and third is supporting the blank against the force against the forces now fourth we are going to see the clamping clamping we have used the cam clamp uh, which is strong rigid and which is quick, quick, quick acting in the extreme right hand side you can uh, see that direction of the clamp by moving the lever up you can unload the job you can really uh, release the clamp i can say that and that is very important uh, which is very strong which satisfies all the requirement that is our clamp should be strong rigid and uh, it should be quick acting load and unload easily so i hope that uh, you have understood this now the next is tool guidance see the guiding of the tool is very important because the guiding is done with the help of bush but that bush should be properly secured at its position by using the nut and bolt to the jig body what is the purpose of the jig the jig bush the jig bush is guide the uh, which is used to guide the drill properly it will uh, sometimes because of run out the size of hole may be enlarged so to avoid this the bush is used so it accurately drill the hole it increase the or improve the accuracy of the operation so it in short word we can say it guides the tool at its proper position now consistent effective locating and ejection consistent effective locating means what now we will see that if you see the uh, there are two views you can see this in diagram if you consider the diagram in the left view left view now i am uh, concentrate on the left view of the, your diagram uh, left view at right hand side you can see that push pin that is used to consistent support which will not allow the movement of work piece or the part to the right hand side of to the right hand side because of the application of the drill force so you can re you can release the push rod by pushing it down so important function of push rod is to consistently locate the job at its proper position now we will see what is ejection if you see that figure at extreme left hand side you can see the ejector pin once you done with the drilling operation you can remove the you can remove the or you can uh, move the cam upwards relieve the clamping force once you relieve the clamping force then you need to uh, move the push rod down once you move the push rod down you can push this ejection pin or ejection pin with the help of thumb and your job will come from left to right it will come outside from left to right